Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco, and today I want to show you all uh, the books that I'm sending off to CGC. Also, I'm doing something I've never done before, and I have, uh, I've taken front and back pictures of all the comics I'm sending in right before sending them, so I know exactly what they look like. Uh, and I feel like I've had a, a lot of instances lately where I'm like, I don't remember that being there, you know, some condition issue. And uh, whether it be, you know, some rubbing or like on my Premiere 15 that I just recently got back, there's a big uh, rip and a dent on the back that now I'm grant, you know, I'm, I'm going to be fully transparent. I'm not sure. I don't want to be one of those guys who was like, well, that's not what I sent in. I have doubts, but at the same time, I, I know I'm bad personally at looking at the back of books a lot. I keep them in the bags, you know, in, in the boards, and I don't look at the backs uh, nearly as often as I need to, especially when I'm going to send something in for grading. So, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. It is, it is what it is. Uh, but this way, every time I send any books to get graded now, I will have uh, reference pictures I can go back to. So if there is some kind of major issue, I can go back and look at the pictures and uh, see what the issue is. So uh, these books, I haven't quite sent off yet. I took them up to the shop today, so I, I just have the pictures to show you all. Um, and my boss is getting ready to get some other comics to, to ship out too. So he'll be sending that off probably uh, Tuesday or something like that. But, uh, but anyway, all my books are already up at the shop, ready to go. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so I'm going to first uh, show you... Oops. I'm going to first show you all uh, my uh, Deadpool 1. This is the uh, Copper Tone homage cover. Um, really, really awesome cover uh, with two of my favorite characters, Elsa Bloodstone and Jeff the Landshark. Uh, this copy, I think, looks fantastic. I think the front cover is, is pretty amazing. I think it looks great. Uh, not too much to note here. Uh, if I look at the back cover... At the it might be hard to see in the the picture, but in the bottom right staple, it's just the the slightest little bit of a uh, uh, color rub, I would say, on the staples. Um, so I realistically kind of think this will probably get a nine six. I could see it getting a nine eight though. I don't really see anything else wrong with it. I think it's a gorgeous looking book, and uh, regardless. With a lot of these, you know, I'm not super picky about the grade. You know, like, because all these books that I'm sending in right now are for me, you know. These aren't investment books or anything like that. They're just books that I really like. Uh, now, if this comes back like an 8 or something, you know, obviously that'd be pretty upsetting. Uh, when if it's a big difference. But, like, I mean, if it came back a 9-4, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Um now, moving on to this uh, Invincible Iron Man 9, first full appearance of Riri Williams. Uh, this one I really, really would like to get a 9.8 on. I had a 9.8 before, and I sold it so that I could get an NYX3. At the time, I really, really wanted that key, and I love that I have that book. Um, I'm so happy to have added that to my collection. I think I got a really nice price on it at the time. Um, but, uh, I mean, this is a pretty gorgeous-looking book. Uh, the front cover, you know, this uh, this presents a lot of opportunity with all the black and everything to have a lot of color rub and stuff. And um, the back cover has, you know, a little bit of black up at the top and everything. But I think it's a pretty gorgeous looking book. Uh, the back cover with the stupid Eminem ad, I think looks fine. Um, I don't really see... Uh, if you look on the, the, the front cover, there's a small little indentation... Which, I, it's funny enough, I don't remember it really. I remember noticing it when I was looking at it in person. Uh, but I, I don't remember it looking so pronounced in, in person. Uh, it looks a lot more extreme on the picture here. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, I, I again, even if it came back in 9.6, it, it will be fine. This is my, my finally me getting a replacement copy uh, for the one that I sold. Um, and then moving on to our next book here, which I think is our last modern. Uh, some of this stuff is modern. Some of it will be whatever standard economy. I don't know. I forget what CGC uh, tiers are. So this is uh, Mary Jane and Black Cat. Uh, this is the art germ full uh, virgin uh, cover for Black Cat. 
Uh, and this, I think, you know, should definitely get a 9.8. And I keep saying, like, not, I don't care about grades, but, like, I mean, this is a, you know, it's a new book. It was an exclusive cover, and it has a, you know, kind of a hard cardstock cover. I can't really see anything uh, wrong with it. Um, I, you know, and then, you know, here's the back. Um, it, it looks fine, you know. <laughs> so... I feel pretty good about that one. Again, if it comes back at nine six, whatever. It's it's going on my black cat wall, so I mean, it's it's I haven't made yet. I keep I keep talking about it like it's a thing. It's a thing that will be. And then now we move on to uh, my older books. So here we have Fantastic Four uh, fifty, and I think this is fairly comparable to my forty eight, which is a three five, and. If this one becomes a 3-5, I think it'll be really cool. It'll present another problem that I'll talk about here in a second. But, I mean, obviously, it, it, if you look at it here, the spine is, you know, pretty rough. Uh, got some, some issues, uh, you know, just all around it, you know. It is a lower-grade copy for sure. But I think it, uh, overall, is, is a pretty nice-looking book. Um, all Well, not all of them. There's one book that wasn't. But uh, some of these books I had... Uh, pressed and cleaned by Hobby Hero, uh, and I think he did a, a really good job on them, and so, I mean, I think this, you know, definitely displays super well, I love the, the color in this issue, I think, you know, still, despite it being low grade, is really nice color, um, and then, so, the back here, I think, you know, especially at the bottom of the book, you see a lot more significant um, dirtiness uh, to it, and just and issues and stuff, but, uh, I mean, overall, it's not terrible, there's a, uh, you know, I'm I'm hoping for around a three. So like I said, uh, if this one becomes a three five and matches my forty eight, then I'm gonna be dead set on getting a forty nine. I was a three five. If it comes back, if the 50, uh, 50 comes back a three zero, I won't care at all about what any of the grades are. You know what I mean? Like it's like okay, whatever. That they're it's just the set forty eight through fifty. If two of the books are three fives, then all the books have to be three five. There's no way I can't do that. Uh, so we'll we'll see. Um, but then moving on here to my uh, 49, this one is, is very, very visibly, you know, again, in, in really low condition. Uh, again, I think it has excellent colors on it. Uh, spine is super rough. This one, uh, the top staple was completely detached. Bottom staple's barely on there. Uh, missing the ads or something in there, whatever it is, um, or some coupon or something. So, I mean, this one's even going to come back a green label. I mean, I got a really good deal on it from... I got the 49 and 50 in the next book I'm about to show you from uh, my buddy Jesse. And, you know, I think he, he I got a good price on everything. Um, so it is what it is. It, again, if the if the th uh, 50 doesn't come back at 3.5, this won't be an issue. It'll be fine. I'll just have it in my collection. It'll be cool. Uh, real quick, we'll show you the back here again. Just not a super great looking copy, but it is all there. It is together, and I own it. So um, yeah, that will be neat. Um, then moving on to uh, Hero for Hire here, number one, first appearance of Luke Cage. I think this one's pretty solid looking. I'm uh, on the upper end. I would like to get a five out of this. I think it's probably closer to a four. But a five would be really cool. Um, again, just working on my Netflix Defenders. Uh, saving up right now for a Spider-Man 129. If anybody's selling one for a reasonable price, lower grade, or like lower to mid grade, I'd say, is probably what I'm aiming to get. You know, like a three to a five, something like that. But again, even if you have a one and you have a really good price on it, I'd probably be interested. Because uh, I don't mind low grade books. And if anything, I prefer a deal. <laughs> so, um, you know. If you got a good price, sometimes I'll steer a little bit away from the grade I might have been originally uh, hoping for. Kind of like with that Fantastic Four Forty Nine. I, I wanted one a bit higher grade, but I mean, I, I felt like I got a good price and everything, and it's like, okay, this is the right deal for the moment. And maybe I'll upgrade later. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Um, anyway, so here's the back. Um, so one thing again that I noticed when I sent uh, when I took the pictures, not when I sent it, when I took the pictures though, uh, it does have a, a crease in the bottom uh, le left hand corner of the picture, I guess. Um, so I didn't notice that one uh, at first, or if I did, I forgot about it. That's another thing. Sometimes you just forget about things, and sometimes you see an issue, and then later you're like, that wasn't there, and then you just forgot about it. Um, and then the last book I've decided to send off, 
uh, is my X-Men 60. Uh, it's the first appear appearance of Sauron. And just a really awesome Neil Adams cover. I really like it. Uh, I love... This is such an interesting way to introduce a character. Because, like, I know who Sauron is, you know? So, like, I know what he looks like. But, like, it, it's a pretty cool cover. Because, like, you don't get to fully see him. He's just leaping in, attacking the team. And is like, kind of shrouded in mystery in a way. And I just... I think it's a really cool cover. Um, this one, I'm kind of thinking like a five to a six on um and yeah i mean you know there's obviously some issues with it but i think it looks pretty good um and here's the back cover um uh, yeah i mean you know an all right copy and i'm just happy to add it well i mean i've actually had this book uh, in my collection for a long time but i had happy to add it to the slab collection um I'm kind of torn because, like, I want to collect X-Men stuff, but at the same time, I don't know. There's not a ton of the books that really speak to me that also I would want for their price point, you know, because there's a lot of cool books. Uh, like, I would love an X-Men 4. I think that's a super cool book, but dumb, expensive book, you know what I mean? Um, and there's some other ones that I'm just like, ah, for that, for that amount of money, I'd rather go after this other book, you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, I don't know. I, I've kind of lately, I've... I've been really having uh, X-Men 14 on my mind, First Appearance of the Sentinels. Um, and so I was like, eh, maybe I, I can kind of start like a little villain collection type thing. Because I have Juggernaut, uh, I have Sauron, and I, I do really at some point want to try to get, you know, again, like maybe a three or so um, copy of X-Men 14. Um, but let's also show the back here. Or, or I think I already showed the back, I can't remember now. If I didn't, here it is. Um... But yeah, I uh, I don't know. I like I said, I'm kind of focused on like sets in a way. I've been I'm working on the Netflix Defenders. I'm working on Thor versus, and then I, for whatever reason, X Men 14 has just been on my mind. Like every time I see that book, I'm like, damn, that's a gorgeous book. And so I was like, I don't know, maybe I can kind of make it a little set in a way of just X Men villains. But I don't you know. I don't. I don't know what other villains i would even want to add i mean like again x-men 4 would be the dream to add to that collection it would be so cool but uh for that price you know i'd much rather be trying to go after uh a tales of suspense 39 or something you know saving up towards that uh but anyway so these are the what seven books uh four old and and three modern books um and kind of my my estimate grades on them uh, you know, so this way we can go back when they come come back in, and which it'll be in two different shipments. Uh, the moderns should come back faster, um, and then the the new the old stuff will will take a little bit longer. On this last uh, submission, um, I think my moderns were it was maybe two to three weeks, something like that. It was what it took. It wasn't very long. I think it was about three weeks, and then my uh, my older books took I think closer to two months. Um, so it, it definitely, you know, was a bit longer than my moderns. But anyway, just want to show you all those and kind of, you know, give you a little insight of what I got going on, what, I, what I'm planning on getting graded. I'm trying to, you know, to a degree, like have better, always working on getting better books. And I'm really not trying to send in a ton of books anymore. I think like, unless, again, unless a good deal pops up and I find a good raw book at a good price, I don't necessarily want to like be hunting for raw books because I'd rather just I don't know I like I like buying graded books if it's a big book you know what I mean? like if it's a book that I want to be slabbed in the end then just being able to like look at that grade and be like this is the book that I'm buying this is the grade that I'm buying and not have a question and not have a gamble um I don't know. I mean, maybe I just need a little bit of a confidence restorer. Like if I if if all these books come back and I'm like dead on the money with the grades, maybe I'll feel a bit better. <laughs> I I do feel a little. Um, it's not even so much being upset about the grades and the value and the, that aspect of it. Like on my, that last submission that I had from CBCS that was really poor. 
or even my last CGC, you know, I, I got those, uh, uh, two books that I kind of thought were sevens and one came back a five and one came back six. So I just, I feel off, you know what I mean? So I, I need a confidence booster. Um, and maybe th this will be it. Maybe this will continue to convince me that I just need to buy books already graded. I don't know. But uh, th that's kind of where my headset is. Again, like I already own these books, so financially it just makes sense to go ahead and get these graded rather than buying new ones that are graded. Like I said, if that fifty, that Fantastic 450 comes back a 3.5, though, I'm going to have to go after a 49 at a 3.5, which is I think roughly like 800 to to $1,000, something around there. And it's like that's a big book that I don't – really want to have to spend that much money to get a book that i already have because it's like i feel complete in a way but i'm just worried that it will come back a three five which will be cool but it'll also be kind of a kind of a pain and then i'll have to chase down a three five uh 49 but at the same time it'll be really cool to have that set in matching grades i think would be really really awesome for a time being like i kind of had like more consistently kind of matching grades i had a lot of nine o's um, at nine O's, nine sixes, nine eights, um, and then I had quite a bit of two O's, my Iron Man, Werewolf by Night, and Ghost Rider, or my Spotlight Five are all two O's, uh, I really wish my Journey, wait, 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 Journey was a two O, that'd be a nice little match with it, um, but at the end of the day, I'm not too concerned, I'm more happy just to have the books than weathering about what grade they actually are and everything. So again, I'm just, my main focus with like buying is like, I just want to make sure that I'm not getting ripped off in any way and that my money is being spent well. Um, and that I know that I'm getting what I pay for basically. So, uh, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, it, it'll probably be, uh, maybe a month or so for those, uh, Rawls to come back and then like a couple months or so for the, uh, for the, I mean, for the, the a month or so for the moderns, and then um, about a couple months for the other books. But I'll be excited to do some, you know, more um, unboxing videos, and hopefully do a bit better uh, this time around. Or I don't know, or just maybe fully, fully lose my confidence if I if I really screw this batch up again. If you have uh, ideas on what you think the grades of the books might be, I'd love to hear them. If you agree, disagree, whatever it is, um, you know, just yeah, go ahead and. And shoot me what you think in the comments. I'd love to see it. And I don't know, maybe you teach me a thing or two. Uh, but that's going to be it, though, for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.